Right, Mike, 2016, big changes for this year. Looking good, actually. How, how do you feel it's all gone so uh, far? Well, you see I'm smiling. You uh, are. So and you wear a fantastic suit as well, so the two have gone together. <laughs> we have had a great show. Um, you know, I can't say I wasn't apprehensive before we came into the, for with the fourth day. Um, I think we did a lot to ensure that it worked, and we see the results of that being very, very positive. We, we started off promising a lot, you know, you were at the press conference where I said uh, our yeah. theme was more, and uh, I think we've achieved more. Um, it, it's been great. What have been the, what have the figures like, roughly? Any, any idea on how, we've, how, how we closely got to your eyes? So you're pretty accurate, aren't you? Actually, actually aren't you? this year um, I lost the bet. Though. Did you? <laughs> um, but, uh, I mean, okay, I gave you the exhibitor figures already. We had a, a record with exhibitors, uh, 1,100 exhibitors. Uh, 40, just over 45,000 net square meters of space, which is uh, phenomenal considering when we started, uh, the first show was um, uh, 2,800 square meters of space and uh, 120 exhibitors. So tenfold on exhibitors and uh, 20 fold on uh, space. And uh, when it comes to the attendance, well, the first show we had 3,500 attendees. And on this one, um, we, we had um, 59,350 last year. And uh, I believe we're going to end up today closing the doors with just short of 66,000. 66,000, that's not bad, is that? That's uh, we, good. Are, we are very, very pleased. The most important factors on that is not actually the, the actual number. Um, we're still doing the analysis on uh, everything. We're waiting for everything to get in, and uh, we, we do really deep uh, um, data mining on that. And there were a couple of things, or three things we were trying to achieve. The first was, uh, obviously, to get a, an increase on attendance, but more importantly, then the increase in attendance was to get people to stay longer. And that's definitely what we've seen. People are staying longer, they're coming back. Uh, our average attendance in the past has been 1.75 uh, days per attendee. What we've been seeing uh, this year, uh, looking at the numbers each day, I think it's gone higher. Our target was to hit 1.95. I don't know the numbers yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's higher than that, uh, because we saw a lot of people coming back uh, again. We saw the first day um, having over 20, 27,000 people in the first day. We had more than 30,000 people in yesterday. Uh, not yesterday, sorry, in the second day. Uh, and then yesterday we had about uh, 28,000, uh, so more than the first day. And um, as today's figures, uh, I'm not sure what we've had through the door yet, but I think it's probably around yeah, 24, 25,000 through the doors today. So that's the visits. And if you count all that, and how many people, yeah, you're talking about over 100,000 uh, uh, individual visits, individual people. And that's only counting them once each day. Not, uh, so if you came in more than once on a day, you're only counted once. I know, but you talk about individuals, it's just under 66,000. Yeah, it did feel quite vibrant yesterday yeah. on the day that you know you, you, could feel, you could feel people coming through. And even today, there are a fair number coming through, aren't yeah, there? Absolutely. For a final day. Yeah. I mean, people didn't starve changeovers. Yeah. Well, look at it fresh now. Staff. You see the people, they're just leaving. We're half an hour before the, sh the show closes. Yeah. And uh, there's still a lot of people in the, in the venue. You can, you can imagine um, they get dissipated quite evenly around the whole venue. But my guess would be on this sort of number, there's probably about 10,000 people still in the building. And the stars with the content as well. You really create some very good content. I've been to some of it and been yeah. part of it. It's been, I think, real star of the show in my view. Well, again, that was part of our goal to actually get the people here. We think, um, like you, you create a magazine uh, and you know, part of it is the advertising. That's what funds it. And the rest is content to make it interesting. Uh, independent content that lets people learn. So we concentrate a lot and say that's our job. Our job is to actually create that, curate it, and uh, make it interesting for the attendees. And you know, we do that, some of it create ourselves with the theatres, but then we reach out to exhibitors, we reach out to um, uh, integrators, to um, uh, companies that have installations to come and show us their case studies and actually present those in the theatres. So that's on a very basic level. Then we have um, the conferences and seminars which are paid for. And then on the highest level, we have the, the professional development from uh, the associations, from Infocom and Cedia, which is helping people in the business to actually expand their knowledge and uh, give them more potential to actually do well. And the so, new zone, so how, yeah. how's, how's the, and, and how's the again, drone zone going? Oh, the drone zone has been uh, phenomenal. Uh, they, they have had such a pull through down there. We, we knew that would be attractive. We just didn't know it was going to be attractive as it mm, was. Interesting. And, uh, you know, we work with Stampede Global on that. Mm. And um, what, was, what is really good, what I found was really good, because when, when I first saw the drone zone at Infocom, I thought, 
what are drones doing here? And I went through, and Kevin Kelly from uh, Stampede, he took me through the whole process, said, Mike, this isn't about drones. The drone is just an interface. It's, a, it's, it's the thing that's actually taking the images. It's how you distribute those images, how, how you use it, how you manage the data. That's what's uh, uh, for the AV industry. Any tidbits for next year? Um, more. <laughs> we are definitely uh, a fourth day again, so Friday at ISC will continue. I hope you were in the keynote this morning with uh, Professor uh, Michio Kaku. It was full house, uh, very entertaining, very innovative, in informative, and um, I mean, he got a lot of applause. Uh, it went extremely well. We're looking to see what's going to be our keynote for next year. We're looking at candidates, uh, trying to find the right person to be as or more interesting. Uh, so Friday ISE will happen again. Um, what else? Content, there'll be more content, more interesting. We, we have um, people on board in our staff and we'll work with uh, you know, publishers like yourself, editors like yourself, just to get the right trends and ideas and saying, you know, give us, tell us what we should, I, I, read, I read what you're writing about and say, okay, this is what the trends are. Let's uh, make sure that we're covering the ISE. Mike Blackman, thanks so much for being with us again and congratulations you. on a great show. Thank you very much and uh, thanks for the support.